Hi everyone, Donut here. We're going to look at something today that you've never seen on this channel. That's a crazy ass police shooting that goes from 0 to 100 miles an hour in the blink of an eye. This incident that we're going to take a look at today involves domestic violence, some scuffling with the police, a police officer getting shot in the hand twice, and a suspect being shot in the back. So what? happened. This incident took place on September 17, 2019, but the video was just released at the end of November. Our suspect in this video is 39-year-old Gregory Edwards. His arrest history includes aggravated assault with a blade, aggravated battery with a dustpan, assault first degree in a shooting, reckless endangerment with shots fired, criminal possession of a weapon, and criminal sell of cocaine. He's been incarcerated six times, and one of those times was five years for a shooting. What had happened was he had assaulted his girlfriend left the residence police came and took a report the next day the girlfriend was leaving the residence he walked up made some threats that made her feel like her life was in danger that's when she called the police states he's on the first floor female complainant states a male black wearing a blue jacket 62 gray shoes black and white clothing short haircut states he's circling the block wanted for a previous harassment police came she got in the car with him they drove around the block the girlfriend said hey there he is right there sitting on the steps the police dropped the girlfriend off grabbed a few more units and then came back to arrest him that's where the body camera footage starts. First, I'm gonna show you everything in full speed, then we're gonna go back and break down exactly what happened. The initial approach doesn't have any sound, it has that 30 second audio buffer as most body cameras do. This incident was recorded from four different body cameras. Come on, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know as soon as you get up. Come on, Wait, come on, girl, let's go. Wait, you Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'll explain. Listen, I'll explain to you. Listen, I'll explain to you. I'm not doing it. I got my phone. All right, listen. You have an open complaint. Listen, listen. We have an open complaint from yesterday. Okay. I'm trying to explain to you what's going on. We have an open complaint. We have an open complaint. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We have an open complaint. Please, can y'all stop? Come on, bro. Y'all grab. Well, you have to come with us. Don't do that. Keep doing it. Y'all keep. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. Listen. Before y'all touch him. Y'all should ask before y'all touch him, though. That's not right. That's not right. Tell her to stop. Listen. Tell her to stop. I'm not doing that. I got my phone. You have it. You can have it. You have an open complaint. Yeah. All right. But why are you grabbing his wrist? That's not right. He's being arrested. Give him time to stand up. Back up. Back up. We have an open complaint. I got you. Put the cameras on. Listen to me. Listen. We're not trying to. Please, can y'all stop? Come on, bro. Y'all right. grab, don't, don't, keep, don't do that, keep doing it. Y'all keep doing yeah. it. Tell your partner to stop. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You gonna take me? Yo, what the fuck, yo? Why y'all tasting? Oh, 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 shit! Oh, shit! Come on, stand up. Listen, we're not trying to. Please, can y'all stop? Come on, bro. Y'all grab. Don't do that. Keep doing it. You're under arrest. Y'all keep doing it. Tell your partner to stop. I'm gonna tase him. I'm gonna fucking tase him. Stop, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Taser, taser, taser. Yo, what the fuck, yo? Fuck. Why you got fuck out of here. Taser, taser. They know his history, they know he's under arrest for domestic violence, so they come up and they automatically go in to restrain him, one officer on each arm with one officer in front of him. As soon as they tell him he's under arrest, he jumps up and I think he tries to run inside, but the big officer in front of him pins him against the wall. Don't do that, keep doing You're it. You're under arrest. Y'all keep doing it. Tell your partner to stop. I'm gonna tase him. I'm gonna fucking tase him. Stop, stop resisting. Stop, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. The officer whose body camera we're looking through right now tases him, drops the taser as soon as he starts shooting. Then this officer draws her service pistol, fires three shots, striking him fatally in the back twice. The officer that you can see on his back right here is the one that gets shot in the right hand. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Taser, taser, taser. taser. Oh, no. Yo, what the fuck, yo? Fuck. Why
completely 100% justifiable all day long. One thing I want to point out here is how the police officers are wrong no matter what. As soon as they walk up and put hands on the guy, you have everyone around them. Why are you doing this? You can't do that. Why are you touching him? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, listen. Before y'all touch him. Y'all should ask before y'all touching him, though. That's not right. That's not right. Tell her to stop. Tell her to stop. Tell her to stop. They're not supposed to touch him, right? They would open up a court against him. All right, but why are you grabbing his wrist? That's not right. All right, but they're not supposed to grab him. I'd also like to point out that he was shot in the back twice, and to be a little bit facetious here, I could see how that quickly could have turned into something bad had the New York Police Department not released the information quick enough. I haven't mentioned it in a long time do you guys remember keith scott who got shot while he had a gun in his hand the officers told him to drop it like 24 times the charlotte police department didn't really release much information quickly and so there was like millions of dollars of damage done to the city by rioters imagine if someone was standing there filming with their cell phone got some really shaky crappy footage shot probably in portrait view and then jumped on twitter and said something like this and then followed it up with a video like this oh, come on bro y'all grab don't, don't, keep, don't do that keep doing don't it y'all keep Back when the Keith Scott thing happened, CNN did release a video that was edited like that. It was like throwing gasoline on a fire, and that's when all the riots started. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. As soon as this video is released, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash operator talking, hanging out, chatting. Come hang out with me. Use your Amazon Prime account to subscribe to me for free. Until next time, please have a fantastic day. Straight whacker.